When it comes to the Destiny franchise, few characters are more loved than the late, great Hunter Vanguard who hates it. Oh, I know. That's why I'm leaving. This wisecracking, fun-loving gunslinger first solidified his place in our hearts with his lead role in Destiny's most beloved expansion, The ready. Taken King. Me? <laughs> oh, I'm not flying that thing. But with Cade 6 now gone thanks to... This is going to hurt. A lot. You know what? Never mind. With Cade 6 now gone, it's up to us to take up the mantle as the unofficial Hunter Vanguard, sorry Crow, and become the ultimate gunslinger, Cade 6. So, let's first take a look at the abilities we've seen Cade use over the years in Destiny. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start with his favorite super ability, the Golden Gun. So for this build, we'll be playing as a Solar Hunter with the Deadshot Gunslinger Super. This benefits from being radiant and gives us a fast firing golden gun with the ability to extend the duration with ignition. Combine this with Ember of Combustion and we can mow down entire waves of ads with our super and still have six shots reserved for any boss that might stand in our way. This will allow us to be just like Cade who never missed an opportunity to light up a group of enemies with some well-placed golden gun shots. Yeehaw! To make this setup even more deadly, we're combining it with the Hunter aspect, Knock em Down, which boosts our Golden Gun abilities and allows us to have basically infinite melee ability uptime when we get melee kills while Radiant. We're using the fragment Ember of Torches to accomplish this, which quite simply makes our powered melees give us Radiant. Now we can throw knives forever, literally. For our dodge, we have Gambler's Dodge, which gives us our melee when we dodge near enemy. Oh yeah, did I mention we're using Knife Trick? We first got introduced to this melee ability in Forsaken by none other than Cade 6 himself. And boy is it powerful. Three knives that hit hard with lots of damage and apply Scorch to our enemies. Cade would be very proud. Along with this, we're using the fragment Ember of Singeing to help our class ability charge even faster whenever we Scorch targets, which we'll be doing constantly. As a character, we know that Cade loved cracking jokes, hidden treasure, and pranking his friends and enemies. So to honor his memory, we're using trip mine grenades to unicorn cabal and kill waves of thrall. With our trip mine, we can stick our grenade to just about any surface and catch unsuspecting enemies by surprise with a mega explosion that also applies stacks of scorch to our enemies. Speaking of trip mines, we come to the first exotic armor piece in this build. Young Aham Kara Spine. This exotic allows you to throw trip mines until your heart is content with the perk Wish Dragon T, which increases your trip mine duration and blast radius. It also refunds grenade energy whenever you do ability damage, which if you remember, is up at all times with our sweet melee combo. But we're taking trip mines to the next level with the Hunter Fragment Gunpowder Gamble. Never one to back down from a wager or dare, there's no doubt that Cade would have this equipped at all times. This gives us a super trip mine whenever we get solar weapon or ability killed. This can also be stuck to surfaces or enemies and even shot out of the air to ignite anything caught in its huge blast radius. With this, you can throw a grenade and then simply by using your melee, get another one instantly, which means even more explosions. Nice one, Cade. We'll be proccing this nonstop with our infinite knife trick melee and our well-placed trip mines so we'll always have a trick up our sleeve. Never felt better. As the Hunter Vanguard, we know Cade would never be caught without a charged ability in between doing what he does best, firing his gun. And when it comes to guns, we can't call ourselves Cade 6 without using his own personal hand cannon, the Ace of Spades. This is a no-brainer. It's literally his gun. And boy, oh boy, is it a good one. We've got Firefly for even more solar explosive damage and fast reload on precision kills. We also have Memento Mori, which gives us an insane damage boost whenever we get a kill and reload. No wonder this gun never left Cade's side. And speaking of always having a hand cannon on your side, let's talk about our second option for exotics. And of course, I'm talking about the Hunter exotic, the Lucky Pan. 
This is another exotic closely tied to Cade and for good reason. With a legally modded holster on our hand cannons, we get free quick draw, opening shot, and a stacking damage boost to our normal hand cannon bullet. And Cade was nice enough to even throw in a free hand cannon holster mod. Thanks, Cade. This is great. Anyone want a hug? Hugs? No? No hugs. Now, if you're wondering why we're not just picking one exotic and sticking with it, remember, this is Cade we're talking about here. He would never lock himself to just one option, and neither will we. And with that, it's time to boost this build up even further with our mod. We're using Melee Wellmaker to spawn solar wells with our infinite melee ability. We're combining that with Well of Life for constant healing and elemental charge so we stay charged with light. And since Cade was never one to work too hard, we have Seeking Wells so we don't have to go chasing those pesky elemental wells. And lastly, we have High Energy Fire to boost our weapon damage even more because at the end of the day, it's all about bullets, which now will be radiant and charged with light. This we can stack with Memento Mori. Stop, 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 look, look. Long story, and it may look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do, okay, maybe not, it doesn't matter. Killing the power source at the origin point should break the loop and get me out of the portal system. Have you got that? Say you've got it. Say something. Fine, I'll say it. We got it, Cade. Now, how did you- Oh my cotton socks! Did you not hear what I just said? For our other weapons, since we know Cade was a marksman, we know he would absolutely be using a sniper rifle in his special weapon slot. Okay. Yeah. And as a connoisseur of explosives, Cade would definitely be using a rocket launcher for his heavy. Next one. Built in rocket launcher. And just like that, the memory of Cade 6 lives on in you. Any last words? <coughs> How's your sister? But that's it for me. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss another one. And until next time, peace out.